So, normally, I would just make a sister's character talk video, but apparently, um, in different comment sections, I've been seeing like a huge discourse, which doesn't really make any sense to me. And I'm gonna explain why it doesn't make sense. Now, this is not to say that people on both sides don't have a point, you know, y'all are a lot like Danny in this comment section. You have a point, but you're wrong. <laughs> Okay, let me just start this off by saying disclaimer, this is a TV show, these people are not real, and there's kind of a reason I say that in like 90% of my sister's videos, because sometimes the passion I be seeing, like, I be trying to calm down, you know, unless somebody's being really dumb, like, I be calm, you know, but like, why are we even arguing about this? And let me explain why. There is a unborn child and a somewhat innocent woman because we don't know this lady okay she could be doing all sorts of nonsense you know we already saw that she was a little bit anti anti um people who like money which is just like hmm if she's all uh, anti that how come she with gary you know like there's just a lot there's a lot of red flags all around you know here's what i'll say i understand the people who think danny should say something but i see kind of the poor people are like danny shouldn't say anything but it seems like we are regurgitating you know we, tyler perry is becoming y'all y'all are becoming tyler perry your standards are not raising you're literally morphing into him because this is the exact same argument we had a season ago okay so a season ago danny was going crazy because she was feeling away about preston and she was also being a boo booed meaning a b u s e don't forget it she was being abused by jonah a lot of people like to kind of hop over that like that didn't happen like i've been seeing people calling her a slut in comment sections i'm like hold hold on hold hold on and y'all have been comparing danny to gary I, i'm gonna need common sense is a virtue okay common sense is a virtue and now we need to be we need to be for real for real if danny is a night walker so is andy but y'all don't want to call andy a night walker okay that, that's all i'm gonna say about that i'm not saying danny's not a night walker okay but if she a night walker then some of the other girls are night walkers too their numbers might not be as high but they definitely be having a few more bedfellows while entertaining niggas. Now, one thing I don't like, the comparison between Danny and Gary. And some of you try to back it up with, I know if we were going bar for bar at who's a worse person. Obviously, it's Gary. But she can't say anything to Gary because she, her, like, how dare you talk about somebody else when you doing dirt? This is the exact same conversation we had when in the prior seasons the girls were trying to confront Danny, give her, you know, sort of like an intervention because of her behavior, right? And a lot I've saw I saw the exact same discourse of people thinking some people thought Danny was right to curse them out. I didn't. I thought it was stupid that she cursed them out, right? Because I'm like, girl, if they can't talk to you, who gonna talk to you? And this is what I'm trying to say now okay a lot of people were like yeah danny has to cuss them out because who are they to talk to her you know they all have issues with relationships and issues with men so it's so hypocritical for them to come to her what do you want these this this, this, this little friend circle to do is this friend circle toxic and hypocritical most definitely i'm about to make a video about it do not worry okay but in the realm of the story in the realm of okay what is the right thing to do not the perfect thing because there is a difference between doing the right thing and doing the perfect thing and people can do the right things for the wrong reasons and let me just say this about danny before you say i'm a danny supporter even though i made a whole video trashing on her 
if Danny were to expose everything to Penelope, like tell her everything, right? And then she gets her immediate karma with Preston, I wouldn't say nothing. Don't you guys think that she would deserve that, right? She does the right thing by telling Penelope what's going to happen, right? And then she gets her instant payback by Preston leaving her. That's what needs to happen. And, and people have to take the fact that Andy's not the type to expose this away. Oh, Andy's not the type to expose it, but she should be the one to do it. Or Gary. What in God's great name makes you think Gary is going to expose any of this? He had a whole other woman in the game, bro. And Andy had no clue. If Gary is good at one thing, it's hiding. You couldn't even really tell that Gary had a wife until like Danny caught the wife at the airport. Because that nigga will act like he ain't got nobody to go home to. So please guys, please, why are we arguing about this? Let me just say this. These characters are trash. We know that. When people have a favorite character, it's not because they would be friends with these people in real life or because they agree with the actions of all these people. It's because in the moment, you appreciate the character doing something that you would have done or doing the right thing. And no, just because some people would do what Danny did, not really me, but just because some people would do what Danny did in the moment does not mean that they're exactly like Danny and they're and they're also are hypocrites and are doing things in the back trying to expose people. Like, no! This is just me talking about being a decent person. What Danny got at home don't really got nothing to do with the situation. Sabrina could say something, but she's a follower and she's fake. Danny is a cheater. I've said this multiple times, so I don't want nobody in the comments talking about, oh, you trying to act like Danny. Danny is a cheater. I even said this in the last episode, even though I, I said that I appreciated her for wanting to say something, by the end of it, I was still like, girl, you a cheater. So this common sense you seem to have for wanting to expose this, you will expose your ways to Preston? I said that. Go check. Go check. Because in this argument, I, I've seen niggas, and this is one thing I'm, not, I'm like, I don't, sometimes when niggas talk about sisters, I'm just like, why are you even here sometimes? Like, why, why, why are you doing this? Because y'all love to act like the gender war is just like chronically online. But then you watch stuff like a thin line between love and hate and like deliver us from Eva. And it's like, <laughs> and soul food. And it's like, no, the gender war has been a thing before the advent of the internet, bro. Anyways, but I feel like it was okay for Diane to do it because it's within her character. The least Tyler Perry can do is make a scene make sense by everybody playing their character. I got excited in the beginning, and I said this as well in the episode, right? I got excited with the idea of Andy becoming, and I said it too, and people brought up Karen in this situation, even though Karen wasn't even there, of Andy becoming more Karen, like I'm becoming savage and just ripping into Gary and exposing everything, right? But she didn't. Instead, she regressed back to her normal character. And even though I was upset with her for that, that is her actual character. So I couldn't complain as much. I could just say how I felt her behavior was. It is within Danny's behavior to see something like this happening and decide, I'm about, I'm about my nose and I'm going to say something. That is exactly Danny's behavior. Why are all you people who are complaining trying to make Danny come out of her character in this one moment where she's not doing something wrong this man is an abuser as well he's not just a cheater he's an abuser it's not like oh he's just gonna cheat on her and plus depending on who he cheats on her with that could affect the baby they could come up with all sorts of diseases and then he could hit her So I'm I, I'm gonna need y'all to like think about who Gary is instead of like dissecting Danny. You can make a video about Danny. I did it. It's very easy. You just throw up some pictures of her and you make a cute little thumbnail and you put it on YouTube. This is not about Danny. This is about Gary being exposed. 
I'm so sick and tired of people clapping their cheeks for Gary. I'm tired of it. I've been wanting this man to leave the show forever. Not just because he annoys me, but because his presence does not make anybody better. Andy has not become a better person, either fighting or effing Gary. I heard a lot of, oh, Danny doesn't want to take it, but she can dish it. We know that. Who doesn't know that? A lot of you people are like regurgitating things that we already know. When I made my video, I just said my stance. I said that I agreed with, with Danny's behavior because of this. It doesn't have nothing to do with their characters. We all know them by now. If you decide to watch a review of something, more than likely you've been done seeing it. More than likely. I'm sorry that I'm screaming, but like the fact that people are like talking about how there's a division in the fan base. Bro, this is this this shouldn't be a fight. This lady needs to find out because this man will financially, emotionally, and physically and verbally a boo boo her and he could negatively affect the baby doesn't he have kids with jasmine i ain't never seen him talk about his kids with jasmine that's first wifey first ex-wifey he didn't talk about his kids with jasmine wasn't he the one who would get into a threesome with a model and the therapist when he was getting help Let's not compare Danny and Gary. Danny is a hypocritical cheater with mental issues who needs to seek th th therapy. Danny is a career criminal with abusive tendencies who needs to go to jail. They're not similar. They're not similar. The only thing they have in common, kinda, is that they both cheat. They're not similar. Apples and oranges, they both fruit, but they're not the same kind of fruit. So they both cheat, but they're not the same type of cheater. Relax. Oh my God. Like, I, I had to vent a little bit because y'all are doing so much. Who cares? Some of y'all are upset that Penelope overheard. I'm glad. Like, oh, Tony was right. Danny hella loud. We needed Tony to tell us that Danny was loud. You couldn't tell from the way that Tyler stereotyped her. Teleport lives in the world of stereotypes. Look at Maurice. Look at Danny. Even look at Andy. Look at Sabrina. Look at Karen. They are all stereotypes. And he even made Fatima a stereotype. Because at first she was cool. But now you can see that she's the, terror, the stereotype of the strong black woman. Let's if we, if, if we want to get into it, we can dissect how everybody's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. How about we discuss how Jordan is an idiot and he can't see anything. He can't see. His astigmatism is worse from mine. How about the fact that Penelope seems so sweet and smart, but she didn't seem to have any qualms with how busy Gary was. Oh, niggas always get busy. But it seems like she barely see this nigga. She, she living on the fumes of their love. How deep is your love? It, it's the fumes. She working on the fumes. So much so that she wanted to push a family gathering that he didn't even want to stay at. Because she just wanted to at least have this memory in the back of her head. Before he carts her off home and spends probably a few hours with her. And then dips out to go spy on Andy again. Let me say this again. Yes, in a perfect world, Andy would just tell her. Just like how I figured Andy would have just told Jordan. Also in a perfect world, Gary and Andy wouldn't always be so closely linked. Andy could try to move on in any respect. I know some people are saying she wasn't really moving on. She was just dating Jordan to make Gary jealous. That's possible. Y'all know I don't really like Andy, but I try to give her something. But y'all know Andy is like one of my least favorite characters. Let Andy try to do something without Gary always being completely entangled in the mix like a gosh darn squid. Guys, this is a... This is a moot argument. And you know what? I'm going to say it because people are going to be upset with me for this video anyway. 
Danny's home business does not matter in this situation because this man is a criminal. And I feel like that's the thing that people are forgetting. One of the reasons why in most of my videos when Gary is a big topic, you can look back in the older videos, I say get this man off my screen. It's not just because I don't like him, right? Calvin has been annoying, right? Aaron has been doing too much. All the men have been annoying, but I've never said get this man off my screen for them. As much as I have Gary, because Gary is an actual criminal. He, he choked Andy out, knocked her out. He isolated her from her friends, from her family. He tried to move her out in the middle of nowhere. He manipulated her. This is separate from how I feel about Andy because I don't like Andy. But don't like, don't negate facts. And that is the problem with the Danny situation because I don't like Danny either. Check the statistics. She was my favorite, but then she kept doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I got tired because she's not growing. I don't like Danny either. But hate don't negate facts. It doesn't. Penelope needs to know until we find out that, that, that she ain't ish. And until we find that out, she needs to know. What in God's almighty name is wrong with y'all? What is going on? You can be upset that Danny was the one who had to say something. But arguing back and forth with people in Twitter comment sections about this is absolutely ridiculous. Somebody should tell her. And since we all know that that like Tyler Perry will somewhat stay true to people's character because he refuses to give anybody but Zach character development and we're going to talk about that later on since Zach is the only one who can grow all the other girls are going to act exactly how you think they would in every negative way possible I said what I said and yes sometimes that means it is kind of positive Danny is a social justice warrior. Danny is a black power alone. All right. I'm not even into that at all. But it is within her character to see injustice being done to a black person and think that she should have something to do to rectify it. Let's not act like. And then some people were like, well, yeah, it, it, it is within her character to do it. But, but what? That's it. It is within her character to do so, so she gonna do it. You can say that you would prefer that she not. But this anger and showing all this hatred towards Danny, it's so interesting to me. It's so the hatred for Danny is so interesting. Like I said I don't like her and I said why? But I didn't hate her. You know, I just realized that Tyler was never going to make her change. And so I just had to remove her. I just had to remove her because I kept trying to give her so many chances. And then I you know what I said that I wanted to lift up a new girl in Danny's place and I can't because there's something wrong with all of them all of them let's not act like Sabrina and Andy were right for staying silent like I said in the last video it's giving what happens in this house stays in this house it's giving well she gonna learn soon anyway it's giving huh couldn't be me that toxic stuff that we do in our community that allows other people to walk into the pits of hell when you can already see the burning coals at the end of their feet and you know where they're going and you don't want to do nothing. It's seen as respect. It's seen as minding your business. But it's evil. And I said that Andy and Sabrina were evil for not telling Penelope about this man because this man is a criminal and an abuser. I said what I said. We can say that Danny is a hypocrite and a cheater and she never takes talking. None of the girls take talking. None of them. None of the girls take accountability for anything. The only person who kind of does is Karen, but she's a hypocrite because she'll apologize and then she'll backtrack. So none of them really take accountability for anything. None of them. Sabrina doesn't take accountability for the way that she treats the men that she's in contact with. Including Calvin. And I don't even like Calvin. Andy does not take responsibility for the decisions that she has made in her dating life. And we all know Danny does not. Danny has some highfalutin reason for everything that she does and every man that she brings into her bedroom. And we tired of it. We are. I'm tired of it. 
I want a person to live a long, happy life. That's why in the last two to three videos, you have been seeing me say that I want Tanya, the veterinarian, to come back so that Preston can move on and be happy. I'm not even waiting for the to be together no more. Destin is dead. As a Destin shipper from the second I saw them on screen, Destin is dead. I am not a pro Danny supporter. I am a pro common sense. And since common sense dictates that Andy was not going to say nothing, then the next person who had to say something is going to be Danny. Because let's not even bring in, oh, then Gary should have said something. That nigga not going to say nothing. And we know that. So you guys are literally just saying that everybody should just shut up. And we should have just had a stupid... If everybody had shut up and Penelope hadn't found out anything and there was no discourse, because I enjoyed the dinner part of the episode because of the discourse. I enjoyed them, even though I thought it was annoying, I thought it was funny, you know, them trying to stop Danny. I want to hear their reasonings for that. Right? I wanted to hear. So it was funny. It was intriguing. It was dramatic. If there was no drama because they had a family conversation like, Ugh, or they left or they just decided to sit there and be fake i would have hated the episode and y'all would have felt my ire bro because i hate that yes danny is a hypocrite but she would become evil by sitting there knowing what it's like to hurt somebody's feelings by cheating and not telling this woman anything either because y'all like to talk about how it's andy and gary's business but how would that and this is what i'm saying right if Andy went out of her character and didn't say, sorry, Danny, if Danny went out of her character and didn't say anything, y'all would have been mad at Danny as well. Not necessarily saying that, 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 that she should say something, but y'all would have been upset with her. So there's really, there, there's no pleasing y'all. There's no pleasing y'all. This show is terrible. The writing is trash. You're not going to get the perfect, I mean, I mean that, 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 that you want. The minute I heard that new men were coming in the show, I lost hope. This is not because I don't think that new men should come in this show. Well, because the writing is not good enough. It's not. Why are we having such heavy discourse over this? This is exactly the same discourse we had when they tried to give Danny her last intervention. And y'all thought somehow that because they were going through barrage stuff that they shouldn't have said anything to Danny. I'm going to say about that what I said then. Of course they should say something to Danny. Because Danny will listen to them. And Danny doesn't really listen to anybody, really. But when she's down at her weakest moments and maybe she might hear somebody out, it's going to be one of the girls. She's not going to listen to nobody else. So they were the only ones who could even attempt to say something. Whether she follows through or not doesn't matter. They are the only ones that can try something. Okay, we have all those three girls there who know what's going on. We know Gary not going to say nothing because he's a liar and a criminal. And I'm going to keep saying criminal because I want you guys to understand the gravity of this nigga. Because y'all want to forget that to say that him and Danny are similar. They're not. The criminal not going to say nothing. So I guess the loud mouth got to talk. She got to say something. And so she said something. And now Penelope knows something. I hope she heard everything and she didn't just hear a small piece and then the girls just end up lying because depending on when she came in she probably just heard that Gary needs to be exposed and then not the rest of it and then they'll, and then they'll probably just lie so that's probably what happened so to make it worse y'all are complaining over nothing she don't even know because you know the whole telling Penelope plot is gonna go on for two more episodes like think it's Tyler Perry writing think guys it would have been so easy for Penelope to have heard on the couch while they were eating the chips. But no. It would have been so simple for Andy to just tell Jordan immediately, I used to date this nigga. But no. We all know it's going to take us a hot two weeks or more. <laughs> two weeks is the minimum before Penelope finds out what's really going on. So we over here showing <laughs> showing our disdain for Danny. Dang. <laughs> showing how much we hate danny and probably want her off the show at this point with the way some of y'all talking and penelope don't even know what's really going on she just know that something is going on because she's not she's not as dumb as jordan but i'm pretty sure the girls are gonna flip it they're finally gonna convince danny to like shut the hell up and they're gonna flip it and then they're gonna leave mark my words i could be wrong but giving tyler perry's track record i think that's what's gonna happen 
Sorry if I shouted. I'm in a room with a giant fan and so I have to talk loud as well just to overpower that fan. But guys, come on now. All these girls are hypocrites. Everything they do is going to be hypocritical. Right? One thing is when people start changing is going to be seen as hypocritical to the people who have seen them do wrong all along. We've seen these girls do wrong for years. So anytime that they try to do anything that is kind of decent, it can be scrutinized and they can be hypocritical. But also Tyler Perry refuses to give them lasting change. And so it's always going to be seen as ultimately critical instead of slightly hypocritical because we know that they ain't going to change. Danny is a bad person. She's a cheater. She's a hypocrite. And I don't like her right now. I don't. But I don't mind the idea of her telling Penelope. Because it at the very least makes sense with her character. And Tyler Perry barely makes anything make sense. So when something makes a little bit of sense to me, I'm going to just run with it. And like I said, there's a difference between right and perfect. Perfect can be right, but right ain't always perfect. Perfect is what y'all want, which is that y'all want Andy to stop being Andy and turn into a different person and boss up and tell Jordan and Penelope what's going on. Stop it. Okay? Just stop it. Just stop it. Okay? Andy would be would be not even herself if she went over and told him the truth. I wish she would do it, but we know that she's not gonna do it. So stop complaining this hard. God damn it. I wanted to make like a short video. We over here at 26 minutes. Are you serious? But you know, I have to get all my thoughts about this out. All of it. And to the guy that I saw talking about how there are certain types of women that agree with Danny saying it, you know, as if we're all hypocritical whores, go to hell. Go to hell. I said what I said. Now, yeah tell me your thoughts below if you disagree it's fine but i said what i said i meant what i said and i said what i meant period we all have a point but we're not all right this show is written way too badly for there to be an ultimate right choice and in, and in, 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 this, in the instances where there is a right choice in the instances where there is a right choice you know tyler perry ain't gonna pick that path this is why in all the titles of my videos, right, thumbnails, I always call Tyler Perry out. Why? Because ultimately, the nonsense I'm seeing is his fault. And I don't blame the girls because they're all hypocrites. All of them. All of them. Let's not start. And this is me who has taken Danny down. So I'm no longer going to be putting anybody above anybody. Let's just get that straight. But it is what it is. Thank you guys so much for this video uh please like comment share and subscribe if you want more content like this okay don't worry the andy video will still be coming on wednesday as you know previously stated anyways goodbye my sires susu -soo!